Welcome back to a new video. This lecture is going to be like an introduction and it's going to cover the concepts that you need to know when you're applying time series analysis concepts using Python. This video is going to be one of the videos that I create for my time series analysis playlist. You can just reach to that playlist from the cards of this video. Let's start coding. For the entire time series course, I'm going to create a data set with code for it to be simple on the lectures. I will start by showing you the data creation code and its logic in this video. For the other lectures of the course, I will skip this data creation part and we will make copy paste for this operation. We will begin by importing necessary libraries pandas, numpy and matplotlib. So we will say import pandas as pd, in the end we will say import numpy as np and we will say at the end import matplotlib.pyplot as plt. So we will use something like pandas.dateRange for date creation and actually it's pyplot. So that was a typo. And we are going to use something like date range from pandas and we are going to create range from January 1, 2022 to January 1, 2023 with a daily frequency. So I will say something like date range and it's going to be pandas.date range and we will give start 2022. 0101 January 1 and we are going to give and like 2023-01-01 this can differ in other lectures and we are going to set the frequency as daily so when we call this date range you are going to see that we have the days between 2021 2022-01-01 and 2023-01-01 we have the length of 366 one year plus one day this new year's first day and great we have daily data right now so we are going to create random values for random columns like we are going to have values and we are going to add column 1 and column 2 using numpy so we will say data and it's going to be like dictionary and then I'm firstly set the date as date range it's going to be our date range that we just created it's going to be this our date component and then for the values I'm going to say something like I don't want this to be completely random so I'm going to use different techniques to make it linear and a little bit more realistic so I will just talk about them after finishing this code I will say numpy dot linear space and I will give 10 and 50 and it's going to be in the length of date range and then after that I'm going to say plus numpy dot random dot normal it's for noise and I will say scale 5 and I will give the size, length, date range. So we are going to have a linear space in here and here is some noise. These are going to be our values for this tutorial right now. Great. Then I can just skip to other components. I will say column 1 and it's going to be like numpy dot random dot let's say random integer we will give values between 1 and 100 and I'm going to set the size as length of the date range great so after that what we are going to do is we are going to create something as column 2 and it's going to be like actually there is a little bit problem let me quickly fix that this needs to be before the length function in here great so after that what I'm going to do is I'm going to say column 2 and let's say something like numpy.random.choice and we want it to make selection from A, B and C. So this is going to be our data. At the last step we are going to set something like size and it's going to be again length of the date range. Also we need this instead of echo sign in here and we are ready to go this is going to be our data creation code for the entire course so I will just press enter in here and then I'm going to talk about this a little bit now in here we generate random values for the values column 1 and column 2 columns using numpy we use numpy.linear space to generate linearly increasing values from 10 to 50 adding some random noise using numpy.random.normal with a standard deviation of 5 it's in here so our data is going to be more realistic 
Now we are going to create a data frame from this dictionary like I'm just going to call our dictionary. We can see that what I'm going to do is actually let's clear this output from here, clear cell outputs. What I'm going to do is I'm going to set something like data frame and it's going to be like pandas. We will use the data frame like this and I will paste our dictionary inside. So when I call data frame dot head, which displays the first five entry of the data frame, we are going to see that we have a nice looking data frame. Also, we can just check the tail of it or we can just get information about it like this. We can get the summary statistics for that using this and we can say that shape for getting the shape of this. Great. So this was our date range count and this is the column count. So when I call data frame that describe, we are going to see some summary statistics from here. Great. So it's going to be our data for now. Now that we have our time series data set, we can dive into exploring the basics of time series analysis using matplotlib and pandas. We use matplotlib.pyplot to create a time series plot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set something like matplotlib.plot and I will say data frame date and I will say something like data frame values and let's set a label like values and we can add line style like this and we can add a marker like this i'm going to try to show you the customization options we have we have a lot more you can check the matplotlib documentation for the others let's set the color as this and we can give it a title like this like time series plot okay we, we can give it a x label like date we can give it a y label like values and we can say plt.legend for adding a legend and we can say plt.show so it's like this great so let's talk a little bit about this we have the dates in the x and we have the values at the y and we can see at the top left side we have the values legend so if i just remove the legend in here we are going to see that this little box writing values is going to disappear and if i add that we are going to have the legend so it's a great looking line chart actually it's a little bit complex in these type of scenarios we can just change this plot to scatter okay and we can just have a scatter plot of this so i think it's going to be a better option you can prefer the one you want i will say plt.plot for now and as i need to talk about it again the x-axis represents dates and the y-axis represents the values column from our data set various plot customization options such as line style marker title labels and legend i applied you can customize your plots as you can check my matplotlib video or matplotlib's documentation which takes place at their website for all options i will also show you how you can use seaborn for time series visualization at the end of this video you can select the one you want seaborn is another great library for data visualization okay let's talk about date functions we use the dt accessor in pandas to extract year month and day components from the date column so let's firstly call our data frame again for remembering it so here now what i'm going to do is i am going to say data frame year and i'm going to say data frame date which means that i'm going to select this column in here date column and then what i'm going to do is i will say date time and i will use that year so after doing that if i just call the data frame again you are going to see that we have a column named year which takes these values from this data frame so we can extract dates like this what we can do else is we can just say data frame month and we can say data frame date dot date time month so we can just call our data frame again we can do the same for the day like this day data frame date date time day and we can just say data frame again and we are going to see that we have these components great let's talk about how we can visualize time series data using seaborn 
we'll import Seaborn as SNS like this. Import Seaborn as SNS and then I'm just going to say something like Seaborn dot line plot and I will say X is going to be date and Y is going to be values. Data is going to be our data frame. Label is going to be something like data and I'm going to say color is going to be this. So after that, we can just say title. We are going to give the title with matplotlib. I will say data visualization and X label is going to be date. Y label is going to be values. Let's add legend again. And we will use plt.show at the end. So here we have, let me quickly show you the old one so you can remember. It was like this. Now it's looking like this. What else we can do is we can just call scatterplot2 in here. And in this scenario, we are going to see that it's going to be scatterplot. You can pick the one that you want. I will just say line plot again. And in Seaborn, you can set themes like I'm just going to say Seaborn.set. We are going to set a style like, let's say, white grid. And after that, you are going to see how this is going to change. It's also a good option to visualize like this. You can see different setups, different things from my Seaborn video or the Seaborn documentation. And I also want to add that I generally use Seaborn for data visualization and we used seaborn.lineplot to visualize the data with dates on the x-axis and values on the y-axis. Customizing the plot with the title, labels and legend. You can select the one that you want from matplotlib and seaborn. I will use both of them on the course and I will try to show you different customization options in the other lectures. Thanks for watching the video. I'm sharing two or three new videos every week about data science and Python programming. You can subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. This was one of the lectures of time series analysis playlist. You can watch the others for learning more. I'm going to add the playlist link in the cards of this video or in the description. See you in the next tutorial.